going to be doing a review today of two items. These are going to be some bike shorts and some arm sleeves, cooling sleeves. Now I know everybody has their own feeling and opinion on uh, what they like or what feels good. And all I'm going to say is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on. These are, what is this, cast? Castelli? Castelli Arm Coolers. That's what they are. Castelli Arm Coolers. There's the number over there. So you can see what it is. <clears throat> and the whole idea behind these is you pop these things on your arms. They look kind of goofy. But you put them on your arms to avoid getting a bad sunburn when you're wearing short sleeves. Some people might want to wear the long sleeve biking shirts. But uh, for me, I don't like long sleeves, and I know this is the same thing as wearing long sleeves, but I can pull these off when I want to, or I can slide them up. I could do the same thing with bike, sh uh, bike tops, but I'm going to try these out and see uh, what I think of them on the bike ride. And when I get back, I'll let you know, give you my opinion. I got a really bad sunburn when I went out to the beach and did a 25-mile ride a couple days ago, so uh, we'll see how these work. They also make leg sleeves for sun protection. Nobody seems to have them in the cool version. They just seem to carry them in the thermal version. So you're going to have to go online to buy the leg sleeves and the cooling version. Mine will be coming in in a couple days. Now the other thing is I wore some bike shorts, but I ended up getting a really bad, I don't know if you can see it, got a really bad sunburn all the way from the knee all the way down. And since I'm waiting for my leg sleeves to come in, I'm going to be wearing jeans, which is crazy, but I'm going to be wearing a pair of jeans to do my bike ride, and so I'm going to be wearing these bike shorts. Now, I'm kind of new to biking, to cycling, and to bike shorts, so if you don't know anything about uh, cycling and these bike shorts, they come with this padding in here. I never knew this, but you can see this weird padding thing. They come with this padding that is supposed to be antibacterial, and uh, it's the same thing that you use, uh, they used to wipe off water on a car like a chamois material. So it's supposed to wick off the sweat around your uh, your thing down there or your missing thing and it's supposed to give you some cushion around the seat bones, the butt bones that are going to hit the seat. So uh, who makes this thing? This is made by there's a big P over there so this is made by, there was a label on here a minute ago See the pearl, I guess it's pearl ism, ism, I don't know what it is. Pearl ism, what a weird name, men's. And okay, there we go, you've got the style. So I'm going to be popping these things on, you're not going to see that in the video. I'm going to pop these things on and I'm going to put on a pair of jeans. And now, if you're new to cycling, which I'm sure most of you aren't if you're watching this, they got this thing called butt butter or this butt lube that you stick on here to uh, so you don't wear underwear and it makes it easier for you to sl slip around and not get sores on your butt or uh, have irritation. But I'm going to be wearing underwear on these anyway. So that's going to be a little weird wearing underwear and then I'm going to be wearing these shorts and then I'm going to have a pair of jeans on. But the whole idea behind this review is to let you know what I think of these things. Do they really work under a pair of uh, jeans or shorts to give some good padding? So that is going to be uh, my review that I will complete in about uh, three or four hours if I can make this 25 mile bike ride um, across the Los Angeles bike path. and. Again, it's just a review, it's my opinion, but maybe it will help some people out. This stuff is definitely not cheap. I mean, look at the price of this stuff. $80 for these. It's just ridiculous. And shorts are $80, too, if you buy them with the padding. But the reason I bought these is because I uh, thought I might have a problem down the line where I might not be able to wear the shorts and I'd have to wear the jeans or pants. And here we are. I'm going to need to do that till I get my leg sleeves. So, review on the arm sleeves and these uh, Pearl Isium or Izum, Izumi, whatever it is, I'm sure somebody will correct me on here, uh, biker shorts, or biker whatever you call these things, under short shorts, and I will uh, be back and let you know what I think of this stuff.
people. All right, here's the uh, end part of the review on these these arm coolers. These things are incredibly awesome. Very comfortable. It's a really warm day out here in Los Angeles. I put these on underneath the sleeves of a regular t-shirt. And I've been really comfortable. And I know that I didn't get burned like I did on my hand over here. So I'm going to be wearing gloves in the next ride. But my review of these arm coolers, these things are very neat. I love them. And the review of those uh, pants that I put on at the beginning, I don't know what they're called, the, uh, the cycling shorts, I'm wearing them under my jeans. And I will tell you, these things were more comfortable wearing the jeans and the cycling pants than they are wearing the... Uh, I think they're pearl cycling pants with a built-in um, cycling short thing in there. Or I guess they are pearl shorts with the, uh, the padding shorts inside. So these things that I just uh, mentioned at the beginning of the video, these are definitely worth the 80 some bucks. I rode on my Euro mini bike. Check my channel, I did a review of this bike. Hold on, somebody's walking by. I did a review of this bike on my channel. I did a review of all three of the uh, Euro Mini bikes. There's a new one that's coming out, but uh, check my channel if you want to see uh, a really good folding bike. This thing is incredible. And uh, this is the best bike, the top of the line. But like most bikes, you, most people are not comfortable with the bike seat that comes with a bike. This is the best bike, and this is the best bike seat they have for the top line. But this bike is really, the seat is really uncomfortable for me. I need something that is maybe another inch wide on each side because my seat bones are right on the edge on this thing. Now, with the uh, shorts that I'm doing the review on, I was able to ride without 99% of the discomfort that I had last time I rode without these shorts on. So the shorts definitely are worth purchasing and um, it might save you from getting another bicycle seat. In my case, like I said, I need a wider seat. But, uh, so my review of the arm sleeves, the arm coolers, yes, definitely buy them. They're worth it. They're not cheap, but they're definitely worth it. Um, get skin protection, UV protection for your face, your neck, your forehead. I've got a helmet and I'm just wearing a washcloth on top of my head underneath the helmet rather than spend twenty dollars on a skull cap I just have a, uh, a small shower uh, little wash towel over there underneath so um, that's gonna be my review do protect yourself from the UV the most important thing and wear the seating stuff to protect your butt that's also really important wear the sleeves on your arms and your legs or long sleeve uh, shirt and pants to uh, protect yourself from skin cancer and melanoma. Hey, if you like my videos, thumbs up, subscribe, and a like. If you want to leave a donation, ask for my PayPal info, and I'll get it to you. Thank you.